In Hagadera refugee camp, newly arrived women pray to Allah to take them home to Somalia, to take them home to their mango trees. In recent months, over 115,000 refugees have fled to Dadaab, Kenya, to escape a terrible drought and armed conflict racking havoc upon their villages. Dadaab is home to the largest refugee camp complex in the world, built 20 years ago, for a capacity of only 90,000. With the recent surge of new arrivals, the refugee population in Dadaab is now reaching 500,000, over five times its capacity, causing severe overcrowding. As of August 2011, 3.7 million Somalis nationwide are in crisis and do not have enough food. 3.2 million of them need immediate life-saving assistance. Noor Muhammad Isaac and his family walked 33 days through the desert from Dinsor, Somalia, after the drought killed all of their livestock. As they were walking, Noor said they saw many people die along the way. His wife, Sharifa, said hope for a better life in Dadaab kept her motivated to continue walking despite being very hungry and thirsty. Food, water, shelter and medical attention are available to refugees here. However, they are thirsty for another basic essential, information. In a joint communication and information needs assessment in the DAP led by Internews, and conducted with Radio Ego, International Media Support, the Norwegian Refugee Council, and Star FM. 70% of newly arrived refugees surveyed said they need more timely, accurate, and well-targeted information about how to register for aid. Although humanitarian organizations have aid available, huge information gaps exist between those providing it and those who need it. If refugees do not know the aid exists or how to find it, they cannot be helped by it. The UN refugee agents put the Lutheran World Federation in charge of disseminating information to refugees in the camps in the DAP. They use a variety of methods to spread messages, teams visit sections of the camps and make announcements using megaphones. However, much of the information gets lost in translation. Information is also passed through community networks. Aid agencies give messages to camp and section leaders to share with their communities. However, not everyone gets the message. This process is also very slow, sometimes taking two to three weeks to trickle through one section of one camp. Community leaders are also very busy and have a lot of other responsibilities within the camps. They might become so much busy and uh, relegate the, the, the duty of passing information to the lowest level so that they don't prioritize it at all. So this one affects the, the, the aim of information reaching to the intended people. 17-year-old Suban fled to the DAP from Somalia when she was eight months pregnant. 
she went into labor and suffered for hours during the grueling journey in the back of a truck. Her delivery had complications and left her badly injured and needing medical attention. However, when she arrived in the dab, she did not see a doctor because she did not know she had access to free quality medical care. Rumors and lack of information prevented her from seeking adequate care. Suban also said she doesn't know where or how to get food, so she begs other refugees for it. My wife Tayo, my you and she are Hawaii. Marmaro, I just the shopping ka and the carer ka at where ni si. Carer ki wakti wakti ka ay tao magger ni si nukta. Hindi siya di ahas si tid wager ni sa. Over thirty percent said they need much more information about how to access water. Sixty percent need much more information about health care. Sixty percent need much more information about shelter. Newly arrived refugees must wait three weeks before being given a tent. In the meantime, they build stick huts and cover them with tops or scraps of clothing to shield them and their families from the sun and desert sandstorms. Beyond information on immediate needs like food and shelter, refugees want information on possibilities for work, help with documents, and camp and government policies. Nearly 80% of refugees in the DAP want information about how to work and generate an income. Being uninformed and unable to communicate with authorities about their needs leaves refugees even more vulnerable. Timely, accurate and well-targeted information is critical to people in crisis situations as having their basic food and shelter needs met. Communication is aid and information saves lives. We don't need to be refugees. God take us home. <laughs>